Hammer Smash, 103.7 FM, CFBU. This is Hammer Smash, Joey. And this Metal Mike. How's it going today, Joe? It's going pretty good, Metal Mike. I'm a little tired, but I'm a little tired, Metal Mike. But I'm fired up. Yeah, fired up. You know, we both had uh, pretty big weekends. We both did a lot of uh, not stop moving kind of stuff, you know. We did, yeah. yeah just <laughs> there was kept some, moving. There were some refreshments. No, oh, very many. A lot of, lot refreshments. of refreshments this weekend. Yes. Co- just recently coming back from the Vok and Metal Battle, so we'll, we'll, we will be talking about that later on. But uh, most importantly, we got some guests. Oh, yeah. We've got some guests in the studio. We've got Duskwalker with us here live in the studio. And uh, someone from Various, I believe, is here. Yeah, well, I think so. We were supposed to have more people in that band <laughs> show up, but <laughs> <laughs> one of the guys is here, so that's all right. Well, uh, those guys got a show together this weekend, so we'll be talking about that, as well as lots of stuff about Dust Walker, new album, new name change, all of that. We'll be uh, talking to the fellas, and uh, yeah, we'll have a blast, Metal Mike. Oh yeah, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, uh, we got a little bit of metal sports segment to be talking about. Yep. Some things happened in sports this week. If CM you... Pump got. Pumped last night. <laughs> he got pumped up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, a little thing in hockey happened, a little thing in basketball happened, and, uh, yeah, you know, sports exist. Yeah, that's true. So we got, <laughs> we got our metal sports. We got some new tunes, a lot of new tunes as well. Oh, yes. uh, we made that post last week about these, uh, about, you know, hunting metal uh, bands. By the way, where did you find that Aussie picture <laughs> of him with that, <laughs> that gun? I literally just took a chance. I typed in, I went to Google, I, I wrote in Aussie rifle. <laughs> <laughs> on the picture. So uh, we'd like to thank all the people who uh, sent us some of their music. And we're going to start playing some of their music throughout the next few weeks here on the show and uh, hopefully get you in on some regular rotation. Yeah, unfortunately we are only once a week. So we'll have to uh, get you in every every Sunday. But we will eventually get all those bands on that sent us the music. We'll get it on. So again, yeah, thank you for sending us those tunes as well. We will... uh, We got to give an update, Metal Mike, about our our show that uh, we went to yesterday. Mm Mm-hmm. There were some bands that blew us away. Yep. For sure. And uh, as well, there was... Um, what was I going to say? There was a winner. There yes. was a big winner. Some some band is going to Germany. And then we'll talk about those guys in uh, the show that we had. Uh, but we're going to start out with some music, Metal Mike. Yes. Uh, we'll start out, though. Let's get this out of the way, because some sad stuff happened this week. Ralph Santola, he uh, passed away. The uh, guitar player from... Uh, from Deicide, Iced Earth, Obituary. He, uh, he just got taken off life support this week, so uh, we're going to honor him. I believe but he also played with uh, with uh, Sebastian Bach as well. He did? Yeah, I, I, I believe so. That. I believe I read he that. He was also with Death, too. The guy was absolutely everywhere. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So we will uh, let's start out the show with uh, some of his best work, some of his brutal stuff in Deicide. The first uh, album that he did was The Stench of Redemption. So we're going to kick off the show with some deicide, some death metal coming your way. Here's Desecration on Hammer Smash, 103.7 FM, CFBU. You're listening to Hammer Smash, 103.7 FM, CFBU. Oh, boy. Guess what, Joe? What's going on, Metal Mike? Well, we got some people here in the studio. That we do. And the- Who's here? <laughs> who's who's here in the studio? Who? Who's here? Yeah, we got uh, Dustwalker. Here in the studio, we got Kale, John, and Matt. What's going on, fellas? What's up? What's up? Thanks for being here, guys. Dust Walker here in the studio, formerly known as The Offering. The Softening. That's right. The Softening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are here. We've played them on the show before, but we're going to get the guys on right now. And uh, last time you guys were here uh, was the last Chronic Aggression show, you were saying. Yes. Yeah, last time they had a band on, it was us. And uh, what were you guys doing here last time? Just like promoting this album? This, I this think, al- yeah, I think that's exactly what we were doing. Oh, yeah. right on. Nice. So yeah, we'll get some tunes going off this album. But uh, right away, I want to I mention this. I want to talk about this. You guys are called Duskwalker. You're not called The Offering anymore. No. Nope. So here we go. Let's do it. We're doing it live here on Hammer Smash. We're letting everyone know. We're letting the Hammerheads know why the name change, why Duskwalker, what's going on. What's, what's the story behind that? Oh, boy. <laughs> Uh, how do I make this as short as possible? First, uh, a label contacted our distribution and said, Hey, we have a band from the 90s called The Offering. We're going to pull your music unless you <laughs> uh, can show us some proof that you have it, like registered or whatever. Ah. Which we don't. So, <clears throat> well, so they did the old and then There's also an American metal band called the offering is that the one that sounds like Judas Priest yes okay um and they got picked up by Century Media oh, so between label. those two things we're like we just don't want to deal with the hassle so 
change it. You guys should have done what Venom did, because I know when Venom... <laughs> we talked dead. about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. They just threatened to beat the crap out of them. Like, well, we're not changing our name, so if you want to fight us... Did we think of that, too? Because there is another Hammer Smash radio in before. There is, yeah, there is another Hammer Smash. started this show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Take them out in a cage match. The only one. <laughs> hey, they're good. Good guys in a cursed spawn. You guys ever play with those guys? You guys in a uh, cursed spawn? I know of them. Those death metal dudes. Yeah, yeah, they're they're the other hammer. The other hammer smash guys. But anyway, we got Duskwalker here on Hammer Smash. And uh, let me ask, why'd you guys choose the name Duskwalker? How'd you guys come across that one? It was easy. <laughs> because it's a song title on the first album. Yeah, <laughs> Basically, didn't want to fight over band names. It's like, how about Duskwalker? It's like, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> was it a quick decision, or did you oh, guys? It was, yeah, it was. It was yeah. yeah, because Pretty. the offering took so long. Yeah, we yeah. knew it would take a long time again to find a name, so we just went with the song title. Honestly, that's like the toughest thing to do in a band. Oh. Like initially, st finding a band name that all of you don't fight over. Yeah, you need yeah. something where everyone's all going to agree on. Yeah. It. Well, yeah, it took like forever just to get the offering. I uh, <laughs> I recently moved, and when we moved, going through my stuff, I found the original. Like when we came up with the offering. I found the list of names. There was like 72 potential band names on it. <laughs> Did you go through that list and you're like, ooh, that's not good. Yeah, a lot of them were <laughs> that's not good. Not good. <laughs> that's a kale name for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How'd you come up with uh, Various? How'd that happen? Well, I didn't. I, I came in last, right? I'm, uh, <laughs> I mean, like, not you, but like you guys well, and, and girl at the time. I think Pat came up with it. Oh, I guess I'm in Varus, right? So we got to talk about that too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> we, we, we advertised that on the fa Facebook. <laughs> well, we we Pat came up with that name because just I don't know a bunch of various types of metal going on in there. There's some there's some death. There's some black. There's some thrash. There's death, some doom, prog, black prog, power, heavy, black, prog, power, heavy. You know, Absolutely. it's all in there. So various metal, <laughs> and uh, we got rid of the O. Joel thought of that to get rid of the O to make it oh, a little yeah. bit, oh, a little bit a cool. Smart cookie, that yeah, one. yeah, that was a smart one right there. But uh, yeah, you know what? Now that you mentioned that, Various and Duskwalker, we got a show on Saturday, and uh, let's address the turn yeah, yeah. and the punch bowl it? right now. <laughs> yeah. Does anybody where know where it? it is? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't. So okay, hold on, because I'm out, <laughs> I'm out of the loop a little bit on this one because we all are. Oh, fair. <laughs> because uh, yeah, so the the. The show got pulled from the Geekery, and uh, my show also got pulled from the Geekery. But you lucked out because your show is being, until the 29th. Yeah, so, so it's being relocated to the yeah. warehouse. Now, as for you guys, is the show still, like, up in the air as going down? It, oh, it's definitely happening. Okay. Uh, just right now, it's it may be in Niagara Falls. It Maybe in Brantford. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. yeah. That's, that's a wide spectrum. <laughs> well, that's our, yeah. that's our backup, I believe, is Brantford's yeah. the backup one. We're kind of... We're waiting on word for the Niagara Falls venue. I would say it's like 90% chance at Four Triple Five on Queen Street. And that's pretty sweet, because I, I, I played at Four Triple Five, my yeah, debut great. show at, uh, at Various. Yeah, I really like the stage that's there. I haven't played there personally. But well, it's a tattoo shop now. Is it, it was, still called Four Triple Five? Yeah, yeah Four it Triple is? Five Tattoo Company, I think it's yeah. called. Something yeah, like so you can see some metal and get a tat done. Yeah. Do you think they'll do it at the same time? Do you think, like... I don't think be allowed. So. Yeah, do you think they could do that? I think they have to move their stuff. Can they the tattoo me while we're playing? <laughs> yeah. That would that be would sweet. be pretty sweet. That would be I, awesome. actually I would like that because I've never got a tattoo before and so it, it would hurt a little bit and I could like scream while I'm getting the tattoo <laughs> and it would sound nice and extra powerful. Give that extra juice while I'm screaming. <laughs> yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, it'd be the real scream. When they hit a good nerve or something. Yeah. <laughs> wow, we're so good. No, it just really hurt. If you want to be a real man, get a tattoo on your neck while you're doing it too. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. How's your tattoo doing? You just got one. Yeah, you know, it's doing what it's doing. It's mm. still there, so. I just got one yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I noticed oh, that. Yeah, you just got one, eh? Yeah, some typo negative going on in my leg. Oh, nice. Some Peter, some Peter Steel yeah. on there. Yeah. Well, uh, so hopefully we figure out what's going on with this show. Yeah. So, and uh, we, we'll uh, we'll have to post on the uh, the Facebook mm. yeah, when the it is moment we confirmed. find out. We'll have to put it out everywhere. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to just fire it out everywhere because, you know, everyone was expecting to go to the Geekery, but a bunch of things got pulled that day. It was all on Saturday. I kind of just, yep. like, yep. was at work and saw a message to, like, in the chat that we're all in. It was just, hey, bad news, guys. And that's uh, that's when we got the notice. Now, uh, what's, that. now, Dumpster Mummy is also supposed to be on that bill, too. Yes, yeah, they're they, coming down. So they're, they're going to get Yeah, they're good. Okay. We will 
take so, care of our boys from fucking Halifax. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> so there the, it is. They the are awesome. Drop the F bomb. I apologize. <laughs> nah, it happens. Hey, there's always one. I need I to tell my wife not to yell at me when I get home now. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, we'll have to get those guys too on as well because they just dropped a uh, a new album as well. Yeah, they did. It's yeah, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's great, man. And that guitar player, Brad, he's a oh my god wizard, man. All the, he is. Like I don't know how he's he getting kills all the pedals me. and all that stuff he's got going on. And oh man, everything. I wish we could we'll get those guys on, but uh, we'll have to get them on sometime. Maybe we'll do a phoner. But uh, phoner. yeah, we'll have to get a phoner yeah. with them. Oh big old yeah, phoner. yeah. Big old come phoner. In, come into the studio with a big old phoner. Oh yeah. <laughs> But we're here with Duskwalker right now. We're going to be talking uh, the whole show here on Hammer Smash 103.7. We're going to be talking with Duskwalker, uh, talking about some new music, shows, what's coming up in the future, and everything, as well as uh, a new vocalist, too. We're going to be talking about that in a little bit after we get some tunes going on. So uh, let's get some Duskwalker in your ears off of the album Codex Mysterium. Um, By the way, are you guys going to be selling these at the show? Yep. And it's going to say the offering on it, though. Because uh, yes I noticed you have no. the same symbol on your Facebook, <laughs> but it says you just change it to Duskwalk. Yeah. It New was... ones have a sticker over top with the same album cover, but it just says just... Duskwalk. Okay, that's going to be pretty <laughs> sweet then. All right, let's get that going on. Yo, cool. shout out to Ryan and Jamie listening all the way from Niagara Falls, Ontario. Woo! Ryan Woo! did my tattoo yesterday. Oh, <laughs> all right on. Yeah. So this one's for them then. And uh, what better song to play for them, these guys? Then Duskwalker. We're gonna get that on right now on Hammer Smash 103.7 FM. Here's Duskwalker. Hammer Smash 103.7 FM CFBU coming off some bathed in blood with the tune The Fetus Will Eat Us. Which one of you came up with that name? Our buddy Ryan. Oh, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan yeah, yeah, came yeah, up with that, yeah. Shout out to Ryan. <laughs> I like that shout one. Shout out to Ryan for coming up with the fetus will eat us. Yeah, years ago. <laughs> that is a good one. Uh, there's a reason we played some Bathed in Blood Hammerheads, and that is because you guys just recently uh, lost your singer. He, he did played his last show on Friday, Matty DeFranco. And he's uh, no longer in Duskwalker, so you go- you're going to have a new singer for the show coming up this Saturday, and it's going to be uh, the Bathed in Blood singer, Trevor. Yes, Trevor is uh, he's helping us out immensely. Now, is he going to be a permanent member, or is he kind of just filling As in? As of right now, we're not even thinking about a new singer, so he's just, we got these gigs, he's going to step in and That's good. do it. Yeah, we play the Friday in London, next Friday. Yep, Friday we're in London with Dumpster Mummy. At the Richmond Tavern. I think that's what it's called. And the 15th this, uh, yep. this Friday? Okay, right on. And he's, so he's going to be doing that one. And, uh, and, then, and then the fall the, show with you guys in Dumpster Bummy. Wherever that is. <laughs> yeah, where, wherever that one is. Hopefully for Triple Five. <laughs> I mean, hopefully that'll be good. That'll be... Uh, or Kale's House. Or yeah. Kale's House. <laughs> <laughs> that or, thought did cross my mind. Or, or, <laughs> or, or how about this one, guys? The Flying Saucer parking yeah. lot. Whoa, I'm down for that. <laughs> that Roast was, uh, beef sub and some metal. I, get, well, I don't even know who... Who requested that? But in the chat, someone said the flying saucer parking. That's lot. great. As long as they bring me saucer fries, I'm fine. Honestly, with it. though, <laughs> <laughs> I'm parked there in my Jetta and I'll watch you guys play. eat fries. That's, that's, that's a good Saturday night. You know? <laughs> that's a great Saturday night. Absolutely. Yeah, it'll be fun. But at least do that, man. Like you know how they have the drive-in. They just have like drive-in, but like for bands. Stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> you just pull up. Yeah, that's a good idea. Watch, eh? watch the, the band that you want to see, and then you can just leave. Yeah, you know, yeah. you got to work in the morning. You don't feel like standing all day. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah. just like pull up in your car and, and just in between watch bands, the guys. In between bands, they'll have like people dressed up as like cups and like burgers and the <laughs> that, would be, that would be so weird to play, like just being on stage and you're just playing to like a parking lot. Full, but cars are yeah, actually like they're not yeah, you're just flying to cars. You can't see people. You're just flying to <laughs> yeah. a parking lot. So instead of headbanging, right, they bl- they flash their like, 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 <laughs> or just like you uh, get a fat guy in the car and just constantly move it back and forth. <laughs> that would is that guy up. really rock it out, or is somebody <laughs> is, doing it in there? there I don't know. Something else going on in there. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's two dudes. You can't tell. There's hair. <laughs> too much hair. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll see what's. We'll hopefully get it going on. Like we said. Uh, when we do figure out where the show is, we will uh, post it as much as possible. Everyone will. Yes. Yeah. We'll all post it like crazy. Fire everyone. Just sticker every single car in Niagara Falls <laughs> and get people out to this show. Because it is going to be a good show. Dumpster Mommy 2 puts on a killer show. 
we uh, oh, God, we played with them. Um, when was the last time you guys played with them? Uh, probably the time you played. Yeah, somewhere around there. I but we uh, Capital Q. Capital Q. Yeah. Now I remember before I even joined Various, uh, I was watching in the crowd just as a spectator. No one knew I was the singer at the time, and Various played their very last instrumental show, and you guys were on that bill with Dumpster Mummy and uh, Under the Red. Yeah, she yeah. was just calling for shots and falling <laughs> oh, on the oh, floor. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. And then, uh, you know, months later, then, uh, then I, we had a show with them as well. So this is actually my first time playing with you guys. So this uh, yeah. is and pretty sweet. So you guys haven't played for a while, right? Yeah, we haven't played uh, for a while as well. I think our last show was with Decatur in November because, uh, you know, we did the old hibernation in the winter, working on the yeah, new tunes, yeah. recording, doing all that stuff. The same thing we were doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what do you guys got going on? What do you guys got going brewing in the so, cauldron? What do we got going on? We are mostly done writing the next album. Oh, uh, so there is a new album coming out. Like there's a, full a new album LP. coming out. Uh, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Oh, heard, uh, it, heard it here first. Kale already has studio time booked, so we can start drums. Are you going to do the same studio as yep. you guys did last time? Uh, yep, Kale's going back up with John Howard to record his drums. Nice. <laughs> uh, and then we'll start That's tracking alive. guitars and bass and possibly vocals <laughs> uh, at my studio at my house. And I think after... Kale tracks his drums, that's probably when we'll start actually searching for a singer and some per- someone hopefully. permanent. Some, uh, yeah. That'll be good. Uh, um, oh, and as well, too, I just remembered, too, as well, you guys are getting another guitar player. Is that correct? No. Uh, or are you guys going to be just doing... Yeah. That oh, was gosh. the plan, yeah. We we might be going the Psychroptic route and just doing one guitar player. The and uh, Yeah, the various route as well, I guess. But we're going to... We're messing around with the idea of I might pre-record um, the second guitar and just run that through another guitar rig on stage. So well, I be- I will be the second guitar player. Oh, I'm that'll be pretty essentially sweet. just cloning myself. <laughs> that'll be cool. okay. <laughs> it's the only thing I'm comfortable with. <laughs> well, um, Brad does that as well in Dumpster Mummy. Well, but, like he's got all the loops and all that stuff, and I he does it. Yeah, he plays with himself as a second guitar player, except he does it right there. On the fly while they're like, playing, and, and it's that's all. really tough Mind because you have to like to see this time game. it perfectly so when it comes back around, you know it, it's still on the it, it's still yeah. like on time with the yeah, drums. Yeah, they're not playing to click tracks or any backing tracks. It's just uh, Ben has can hear Brad's guitar, so he knows. Are they both on in ears going on? <clears throat> no, it's just Ben, so he can adjust his drums if he needs to to Brad's loops. And it's uh. Jeez, that, that's another thing. It's mind blowing. Yeah, that'll be. They're they're ridiculous. It sounds like something I definitely need to see because I haven't seen them. Oh man, that's what I tell everybody. I'm like, even if you don't like metal, I don't give a shit. You just need to go and see these dudes do what. Yeah, they just do. see what and they're doing. Like yeah. Brad's pedal board is ridiculous, and he uses all of it, and he uses it like a fucking master. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I <laughs> swore again. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> sorry, drop, I get passionate drop, when I talk about Brad playing guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, too. there, we all get fired up for metal. That's how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, yeah, so when's the? What is the date for the next show then? So, Friday. the fifteenth is London, and the sixteenth, June sixteenth, is the mystery venue. We'll say the Niagara venue. Falls. <laughs> <laughs> Right on. All right, Niagara so, uh, Ford. Walmart, Walmart parking lot. <laughs> Walmart well, parking well, lot. one more thing do I want to get in the next tune. What's going to be really, pretty sweet about this show is uh, there's a lot of, like, new things coming out as well. You know, Dumpster Mummy's coming out with uh, the new album. They have the new singer as well. Yeah. Um, uh, Absorb, they're, they're pretty new. Wally, yeah, uh, yeah, he's yeah. going to be, you know, totally new to this band, so it's going to be pretty sweet seeing that as well. You guys got the new singer as well, new tunes coming out, and various. We've got some new things coming out, cooking in the uh, in the old cauldron going on with uh, samples. That is our uh, our new thing. We have a new invisible yeah. member. Yeah, they're turning into a hip hop group. We are. Yeah, it's all samples be... of like uh, Bill Withers and <laughs> <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got the the invisible member now going on. We used to have keys, and now we're bringing it back. A little bit less. Uh, Noty, more atmospheric stuff going on. I kind of com- right. compare it to um, hypocrisy, kind of. 
where it's not like the main thing going on, but it, it still has the metal, but a little bit in the background, uh, still of that atmospheric stuff going on. Are you guys going to be trying out some of that stuff at the next at the next show? Yeah, yeah, no, totally. That's oh, nice. kind of why we took this big break as well to practice with the samples, make sure it all sounds good. And are you nervous for that? Uh, this is your first time kind of doing it in front of people. A little bit, yeah, but yeah. you know, it's going to be all right. It'll, it'll be fun. What I'm really excited for, and um, uh, I, you know what, there's a little spoiler oh boy. going on right now, is uh, one of the samples we got going on is we got a Freddy Krueger quote, quote going on right before one of our songs. One of my favorite songs, actually, that we are currently recording with Derek Nelson. And uh, that's going to be coming out Who's soon. Who's that guy? Some, some guy. <laughs> you know, some, <laughs> played in like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, yeah, we're going to go to a quick break here, play you some metal, because we do actually play music on this show. And hey. then, uh, you know, well, let's get some various on. We'll yeah, get we'll various get coming various. on after the uh, after the break, right? And then, uh, you know what I think we should talk about? We should talk about the Walking Fest, or the Walking Fest. Yeah, so we'll get we'll get some various going on, some metal, and uh, we'll come back and uh, talk about the Walking Fest. So don't go anywhere after the commercial break. Yeah. Oh, boy, we just played some spaghetti rainbows on uh, Hammer Smash <laughs> on 3.7 <laughs> FM. <laughs> yeah, that was black rainbows from Lazio, Rome. Lazio. Yeah, they're Joey's cousins. Yeah, I know them. No, we go way back, you know? You know. We make super sada together. <laughs> Guy makes me salami. Semi- Actually, the lead singer of that band has a wicked mustache. Oh, yeah. It's huge. Is it up there with uh with your pops? It's Mario, isn't Mario. it? <laughs> it's Mario. <laughs> yeah, he knows my pops. He knows him. He knows him good. Oh yeah. But uh, yeah, Black Rainbows uh, coming off their uh, newest album, Pandemonium. That song was called Sunrise. If you like some stoner doom, uh, go check out Black Rainbows. All right, let's talk about what we did on Saturday, Joe. We did yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went out to the yeah, Vakken so. Metal Battle, and. Um, it was a showdown. It was a cage match. It was a one versus one match between uh, Centuries of Decay versus Hammer Drone. Right, from, uh, and Hammer Drone comes from Calgary. Yep, and Centuries uh, of Decay from Toronto. Toronto. Uh, the show was in Toronto at uh, Opera House. Which I gotta say, I really liked that venue. That was my first was, time there. Was it your first time there? Yeah. It was really good. It, was, it sounded great. And um, yeah, it was an awesome show, man. Both bands absolutely killed it. They both did really good. And. Um, you know what I was saying? You know, after they both finished playing, is I couldn't compare them to like any other band. They were they both were very different. Like they had the extreme metal stuff. They both of them were extreme with with screams and double kicks going on. But yeah, uh, and uh, you know, Centuries definitely had that more atmospheric kind of uh, they death did. metal. They had element. a little atmospheric stuff going on. Hammer Drone was a little bit more melodic. Melodic and just more like intense, more in your face. Yeah, like. Buddy took his shirt off at one point. Yeah. He was <laughs> making faces. He was, I like that. I like that when the singer like really gets into it. Like beating his chest. And yeah, like beating flexing his on chest. People. And yeah, he's flexing and just <laughs> spitting when, was, when he was yelling. I liked it. It was good stuff. But uh, there could only be one winner, and that was Centuries of Decay. They're going on to uh, Vakken. They're going to be playing out there. That's got to be pretty sweet. Going all the way to Germany, playing in front of all those drunk German metalheads. One of the biggest metal festivals in the world. Have you any of you guys? Did you ever go to uh, Wacken? Uh, yeah. I heard, like, to go to Wacken, you have to buy tickets the year before. Because they, re- they really sell out. <laughs> like, just right. right away. But, uh, yeah, good for those guys. Congratulations to uh, Centuries of Decay. There were some other bands, too, at that show as well. Borealis closed the night. We played those guys on the show. Yep. Uh, I really dug them, man. I thought it was awesome. Really great show. Singer was unbelievable. Same thing with Operas. The singer was great. Wow, what a Operas voice. was very interesting, right? Because so Operas is, uh, I guess they're, I don't know if they would be a symphonic, because they didn't have any keyboards or anything, but. No, but was, they said they were epic. Epic, epic metal. Okay. Yeah. And uh, uh, they had a cello player. Yeah, and we got to uh, address this. The bass player and the second Mm -hmm. song, basically, he he, he grabbed the mic and he says, you know, guys, we're here. We really want to uh, we really, really want to entertain you. But unfortunately, I just blew out my knee and he just stood there. He's like, do you mind if I just stand there and play the show? Everyone cheered. And he did. He triple H'd it, man. Yeah. He he did the the whole show. He had the the injury and he kept on going. And I felt bad for the guy. Poor guy. They had to help him off stage, and he said he went to go to the ER, ER after so well. Well, he got a standing ovation, too. He know? did, yeah. Everyone clapped him off. That was good. Hopefully, he's okay. Yeah. And it was a good show. And then, uh, this is for us. Just the boys <laughs> at Hammer Smashed. The guys that stole the show for us was Mocha Mokai. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. This what band took the show. stage. I had no idea what to expect. Like, we have the album. We've listened to the album. Yeah, we've had the album here at CFPU. We've played it here on the show, uh, you know, a few times before. Mm-hmm. 
But uh, it was our first time seeing him last night. Wow, what a voice this cat has. John, we met him yesterday. Yes, yes. And uh, unfortunately, we couldn't get an interview because everyone in Mocha Mocha was like up at like 5 o'clock or 4 o'clock that day. So, uh, yeah, they were exhausted. After the show, they went, oh, we'll, we'll get a phoner with them at some point. And uh, what a show, man. They covered The Wizard. Yes. Dude, so much energy. It was wicked. Um, the Wizard was badass. I can say that now. It's 10.09. <laughs> <laughs> No, but no, that show was incredible. He played harmonica, which, um, you know, he got to for the whistle. He did, and they were all moving and grooving. There was that drum solo, too, that from the drummer of Skull Oh, man, Fist. He, did, he did like a good seven-minute drum solo. Yeah, yeah. No, it was <laughs> unbelievable. Really great show. And uh, Mocha Mocha is great. We'll, we'll talk more about them. They said they're going to be doing a repackaging yes. of the whole band and changing a whole bunch of stuff going on, and we will uh, we will talk more about them when we get an interview with them, maybe on, and uh, next week or the week after that. But uh, you know, as we're hyping you up about Mocha Mokai, let's get some Mocha Mokai in your ears right now off of their album Poison Whiptail, Metal Mike, that you're holding right there in your hand. Yeah, we're actually going to play the title track, Poison Whiptail, which is what I'm pretty sure they opened with they uh, did. yesterday. Yep. So here it is, Poison Whiptail on Hammer Smash, 103.7 FM, CFBU. Yeah. Hey, it's Hammer Smash Joey over here coming off some Mocha Mokai. I'm here to give you some new metal right off... Right, uh, right off the cuff, right off the bat, not new, new metal, you know, not the '90s Limb Biscuit new metal, but uh, some local Canadian metal from Hamilton. We got Doors and Fours, their uh, new debut album, Generation Vex, off of the uh, label Aborted Records, is uh, just hot off the press this Friday. Just came out, so I'm gonna get that going right now. It's some punk and metal going on, and um, the singer. Uh, he's coming off of Python. Metal Mike, remember we saw Python before with Sludgehammer? Probably. Yeah, yeah, we saw him at the, the Geekery. Yeah, yeah, you probably remember. But they, they, they crushed it. Uh, Adam's in a new band called Doors and Fours. You can check them out at the Atria in Oshawa Friday, June 15th. After that, they're going to be taking a little bit of a short break, and they're going to be heading out east for a week, coming back for a show at the Cherry Colas Toronto on July 21st. Uh, after that, they're going to head out west for a bit, and then they will be coming back here to work on some more material, and they're going to crush in the fall. So uh, keep an eye out for Doors and Fours, and uh, I'm going to get some tunes going on right now. This tune is called What It's Like. It's on Hammer Smash, 103.7 FM, CFBU. You're listening to Hammer Smash, 103.7 FM, CFBU. Hey. Ham Smash boys out uh, here in the studio as well with some guests. We got Dusk Walker hanging out. If you're just tuning in, the fellas are over here. We got Kale, John, and Matt. What's going on, fellas? What's up, y'all? What are you guys chilling. doing here? Just chilling. <laughs> chilling, hanging just out. Thought we'd show up. Dropping f bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the boys are over here. They were talking about uh, the show going on on Saturday with various Absorb and Dumpster Mummy, as well as their change of name, Dusk Walker. They got a new singer as well. Trevor from Bathed in Blood is going to be playing with them. And uh, what else you got going on, fellas? Uh, I think that's like, yeah, once we get these shows out of the way, it's just when, all about the new album. When are we going to expect the new album? Any uh, The any hope idea? is before the end of the year. But I think a lot of that now depends on the singer situation. Mm-hmm. So anybody out there in Radio Land, if you can sing your balls off, <laughs> send uh-huh. a message to our way. There we go. Hey, Hammerheads, you know any uh, singers out there? You send them over here. You send them to us, and we'll send them to them. Come yeah. to the show on Saturday. Buy all of our merch. <laughs> but then, and, that, and then you can listen to the album <laughs> and uh, decide if you can sing it. If you buy all the merch... And, and and get into the band. Don't you dare wear that T-shirt on stage. No. <laughs> Speaking of merch, uh, you guys will be selling this right here that I'm holding in my hand. That will be there. Total duo. A masterpiece. Right? <laughs> Absolute masterpiece. It's up there with, like, Beethoven. And- <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it's up there with, like, Paranoid and... Uh, no, number of the beast, stairway to, stairway to heaven. Oh yeah, the totally. B-52s. The B-52s. <laughs> we love the B-52s. I love the B-52s. <laughs> but uh, oh yeah, Total Duo. This stuff's awesome. You guys are all on Total Duo as well, aren't you? That's John, you play guitar in it too. Uh, yeah. I played the parts that Matt couldn't play. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> so just the guitar like solos. All, all the shredding, and they'd give me a song and be like, "This one needs a guitar solo. Can you do that?" Right on. <laughs> And you guys are both on here. We got Kale and Matt's face shooting lasers out of their eyes. How do you, how did you guys come up with this? Uh, we're, we're idiots. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, yeah, 
don't know. I think that's a Kale idea. Who, who, who uh, came up with this artwork? <laughs> it's pretty it's interesting cool. artwork. Even on yeah. the in, even on the inside of it, you guys got all these wacky pictures going on. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of refreshments that you have had uh, when yeah, these I, pictures yes. were taken. <laughs> Quite a few. <laughs> like Kale on a zigzag. Me with a broken nose in there somewhere. Whoa. Yeah, you, you're also on a, a lady's body. Yeah. Someone is uh, oh. dressed oh, yeah. up as Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you are drinking a beer. Uh, that the was our buddy Dave Lounsbury did the artwork. Yeah, so you, you uh, can pick this up as well. When we figure out the mystery show on Saturday, you can pick up a Total Duo. You can pick up Codex Mysterium. Will these be there as well? Some uh, uh, I don't, some Bathe no, in Blood I CDs. Yeah, I try to keep a couple Bathe in Blood CDs around for just in case. Yeah. There, yeah, there's a couple in the merch bin. I just went yeah. through the other day. So how long of a process was it to uh, to put out this Total Duo CD? Yeah. Because we procrastinated a lot, so <laughs> I'm not <laughs> we, sure exactly how long. Yeah, we probably wrote the album in maybe six months over the course of six months and then sure. it took me probably about another year and a half to actually get it out <laughs> get impressed <laughs> yeah. Got out. you're not supposed to listen to it though no no yes no. never yeah. listen to so it. actually when we're uh, in a couple minutes here when we play the song we want you to change the channel just don't listen <laughs> yeah just completely change the channel as soon as do you not when, listen when we're done talking and you hear music just quickly just you know change the channel or turn down the music or whatever keep for, track of time for about like three primitive. minutes and 14 seconds <laughs> <laughs> but I, I want to know though guys would you ever play a, a total duel song live well we We've do say about it. in the album that we would never play a show but <laughs> <laughs> i keep pushing them hard maybe, to play maybe we're, we're thinking about doing stuff we're gonna want to do a video and yeah crap need, like that we need to actually promote this album yeah. <laughs> That which will we've, become internet we've, famous. We've done nothing. Yes, no. We've done nothing. It's on Spotify and we have a Facebook It page. is on Spotify? It is oh, right on Spotify, yes. It's amazing. <laughs> so just go on Spotify, download it, don't even listen to it. Yep. Don't listen to it. And just give them the money. <laughs> there's a lot of cool stuff there. There's lots of extra people uh, here on, on this album as well. You got There's a sax player. And your buddy, he's playing sax on this album. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, my dad. <laughs> oh, <is that> you <laughs> guys like dads, so there you go. Yeah, <laughs> we love that. Dads are great. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty the sweet. The song is about him. And it's about him, yeah. Sax, he's a sax-wielding maniac. Yeah. <laughs> well, one of the tunes that we love, I think we've played it on here before, is Nerd Alert. Yes. So before we uh, play this, and before you don't listen to it, why don't you tell us a little about Nerd Alert? Where did that come from? Uh, yeah, question. I think we just kind of wanted to write kind of a power metal song, kind of Judas Priest-esque, and then... Uh, we kind of wanted to make fun of like the like I guess like the folk metal nerd crowd out there, you know, like. And I think just kind of nerds in general. I mean, we're nerds, but we don't, you know, take ourselves too serious. We can rip on each other. Yeah, this is like the epitome of not taking yourself seriously. <laughs> yeah, it's one hundred percent. It really is. <laughs> but it's great. It's good stuff. It's good. It's it's, it's good music too. It's funny. It's entertaining. And uh, you're not going to hear it ever. ever. Yeah, because you're going to change the channel now yeah. for about three minutes. On Hammer Smash 103.7 FM, here is Nerd Alert yes. by Total Duo. <laughs> there it is, Metal Mike. Mm -hmm. There it is. There's our closing tune. The end of the show. Gotta music. get up in the morning tomorrow. You're all done. We're all done. Hammer Smash 103.7 FM CFBU. Thanks for coming in, fellas. Yeah. The guys from Dusk Walker. Yeah. Kale, John, and Matt, thank you for coming in and chatting with us. We talked to them about, uh, well, if you're just joining us right now, you missed a lot. Because they talked about, uh, the yeah, 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 you missed the whole show. What are you doing? But that's all right. You know why? Because we got a podcast, and I'll probably get that up going up on tomorrow. You can go to our Facebook, which is Hammer Smash 103.7 FM, and uh, I'll be posting the podcast up there. Yeah, we'll be doing that, and uh, we'll be posting some more videos as well, too. Yes. From the Vakken battle that we were at yesterday, we'll post some videos, and uh, you got some pictures. You can throw that up in the podcast that we have every week. You can go check that out. As well as uh, if you're just joining us, you missed out on the show, then you can uh, check out our Facebook. We tag all the bands, and uh, go check out all the bands. Go check out their Facebook. Check out their music. If you like it, go support it up on Bandcamp and uh, all that stuff. Thank you for tuning in to Hammer Smash. And again, Dustwalker fellas, thank you for coming in. Really appreciate it. Yeah. And uh, you could catch them in London. That's the next one, right? This yeah, uh, this Friday. Friday, June 15th. And where's that at in London? What's it called again? I 
Richmond Tavern. Yeah, I think that that sounds great. Richmond Tavern. Richmond Tavern. And then Mystery Show Saturday. Yep, we will uh we will find out the mystery <laughs> show. <laughs> yeah, hopefully uh hopefully we get some news on that and something good is happening. And uh, when we do find out the news on this mystery show with Duskwalker, Various, Dumpster Mummy, and Absorb, we will let you know as soon as possible and post that up onto the Facebook. But uh, we're all done the show, so we're going to close things up with uh, an appropriate tune, a tune that you guys closed up with uh, on Friday. You guys yes. also ended uh, something else as well. You guys have another band. Friends. Yep, yeah, the Ripping right. Friends. Your other yeah. side, 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 side band. <laughs> 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 the, the metal band or the, the cover band that does a bunch of metal covers. Yeah, which that's I, the band that pays for the other band. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good way of putting that. But yeah, you guys uh, rocked it. Metal Mike was at that show. Yeah, he was at that I'll show. I my dad dance. Awesome. <laughs> Hopefully it rocked your socks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had a good time. Oh, speaking of the dad show, don't forget to tune in next week because it is Father's Day next Saturday. So Sunday. it's going to be, uh, sorry, Sunday. Yeah, on <laughs> Sunday. Thank you for that. You know, of course the dad said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so on Sunday we will uh, talk about you get a, phone a bunch in from of dads. Your dad. Talk about dads. <laughs> yeah, we'll do yeah. that. Hey, eh? We'll get a phone in for both our dads, Metal Mike. <laughs> we'll throw that <laughs> Just all dads call in everywhere. <laughs> Get yeah, if grilling, you're grilling tips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're listening, tell your dad to call in next week. We'll play a bunch of dad rock tunes. Get your flippers, your clippers, turn your barbecue on, complain about your wife. Get a nice Caesar haircut. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, grow that mustache because it's our our dad show next week and we're done with the uh Dusk Walker. Thanks again guys for coming in. Thank you. We'll, uh, Anytime. We'll uh, post that uh, podcast up and let you know what yes. you missed. And like we said, back to the Ripping Friends, they clo- they finished on Friday, and the very last song that they closed up with was uh, Heaven and Hell. And I just so happened to get th- a Heaven and Hell vinyl from my sister who was up in England. So I got it right, right from England. The, the fellas could have held it. They, they could have held this album. You never know. But uh, we're going to close the show with that. Metal Mike's behind me, and he's uh, he's got it rolling, Metal Mike. Well, I'm going to try to see if I can figure this thing out. He's going to try to figure this out because it's on vinyl. So we're gonna try to air a vinyl on uh, on it's Hammer the Smash. Mixer, not the vinyl, it's the mixer that's the issue. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, he's got all these buttons. He's got to figure it all out. Uh, if not, we're gonna get it on regardless. Somehow we'll have to do it electronically. We'll see how Metal Mike's doing over there. Anything working, Metal Mike? Yeah, try. <laughs> well, uh, oh, oh, we're still here with Duskwalker. Oh, oh, oh. Metal Mike. There's some tunes going. Oh, that was just the ending, and that was actually the ending of uh, Walk Away. Oh, sorry, Lady Evil, and here we go with Heaven and Hell. That's it for Hammer Smash 103.7 FM. I'm Hammer Smash, Joey. And it's Metal Mike. And as always, may the metal be with you. See you next week. Bye.